starting with plastic number one, which would be PEAT or PET. So those are the most common. Those are in your bottles, your water bottles, your plastic water bottles. Those are in your food storage containers. Number two, or HDP. So that's in, you would find that in a lot of milk containers. Um, once again, also in detergent, juice bottles. The, uh, you see butter, when we all grew up around family members that kept using the same plastic containers, that was more than likely a HDPE or plastic number two. But you don't necessarily want to dishwash these particular items. They typically are hand washed because the high heat may destroy it faster, which speeds up the leaching process. Or PVC, mostly known as PVC. Now, you will find those, once again, bottles, shower curtains are real popular for it, and plumbing materials, mattresses, so most of the inflatable mattresses or air mattresses, those tend to be used with PVC, and those are not mainly considered food grade containers. LDPE or low density polyethylene. Grocery bags, some food wraps, saran wrap, uh, squeezable bottles, and bread bags because it's a very soft plastic and it's something that has a lot of varieties to be used in. So that's where you typically will find those when there's a lot of moisture or humidity. So that's something where you do not want to use plastic rating number four or LDPE. And this is going to be PP and that's a poly propylene and that one is yogurt cups medicine bottles uh, ketchup bottles kitchenware and microwave safe food containers now you get into your meal prep containers those can typically be number five so these are things that may not be dishwasher safe but they may be microwave safe and, but keep in mind that they could still be warped in the microwave and over time they will deteriorate fast and that's going to be styrofoam so we all know styrofoam is real common in disposable plates cups and uh, product packaging very popular but it's also arguably one of the worst it has one of the highest leaching rates for products so that's why when you purchase things and it has all this packaging inside unfortunately you can take it to the recycle container but there's nothing that's going to be able to be done with that and this essentially means everything else and it's composed of many new plastics uh, you got bioplastics where we talked about you're starting to see takeout bags that are claiming to be more eco-friendly but once again like we discussed all of the things with plastic can be corrosive to the environment and corrosive to the body and then you're also starting to see a lot of things say that they are bpa free which is good because it is a very toxic item and very toxic chemical that's in a lot of products so they're moving away from using that but because it provides such long durability which is why it was very popular so whenever possible especially with food storage you want to aim for glass food storage. So one of the things that you'll be learning in my upcoming survival class, which is free, is how to properly store food, both short term and long term. And what that looks like and exactly what environment conditions speed up or slow down the plastic deterioration process and also the effects that it has on the body. So that's my video for you all. We learned all about plastics so you can be more mindful of those ratings that you find under the container. Please be more mindful that those are there for a reason and they do have an effect on your body.